on to 16.78. Citrus Circuits. Circus can't quite get by. Lots of action already happening over here in the red end zone. 13.23, Matt Down Robotics quickly assembles a rocket on the near side, placing hatch panels and tossing cargo in. Their partner, Graybots, doing the same for the Blue Alliance rocket. Near the scoring table. There go the Kanigats. Reaching into the hab zone, looking for cargo, moving it back over, and quickly twisting around to pop it into the cargo ship for the Red Alliance. 71 to 79, Crossfire also grabs cargo for the Red Alliance, drops that into the rocket for the Red. And just as fast, 1323, Madtown Robotics, grabbing cargo left and right, filling the rocket ship on the near side. A scrum has developed here near the scoring table between 1678 and 5026. They break, they move around. 1678 appears to be, looks like they're dead in the water right now. Let's see if they can continue to move. Iron Panthers and a little help and a little nudge from a friend. Off they run again. 1678 is back in business. 46 seconds left to go in the match. Blue Alliance up in front. 87 to the Red Alliance, 70. There go the Kanigats, running down a loose piece of cargo, spinning back around, looking for an opportunity to get back to the cargo ship. 28 seconds left to go, and only four points separate these alliances. So it looks like it's going to be the end game that's going to choose who's going to move. 1678's lifting their partners on the outriggers. They're getting up high. 5026 and 973 also moving up. It looks like all the red bots are on the third platform. 5026, 973 on the third platform for the Blue Alliance. Two, one. And here's your final score. It was the Blue Alliance taking that match by a blue over here on the red side, representing the Pacific Northwest 2907. From Auburn, Washington, Lion Robotics. Team 148. From Greenville, Texas, the Robo Wranglers. And also representing the great state of Texas, 3847. From Houston, Texas, Spectrum.